This is the Raspberry Pi Pico W bought from Raspberry Pi Foundation. Almost one and a half year ago, Raspberry Pi board with RP2040 microcontroller was released. The board was very successful and very popular in maker's market. But the disadvantage of the board was there was no Wi-Fi or Bluetooth capability like an ESP32 board. Keeping this in mind, a couple of months ago, Raspberry Pi Pico W and as board was released. Raspberry Pi Pico W is a powerful and affordable Wi-Fi development board. It features the same RP2040 that was on the original Raspberry Pi Pico board but also has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth radio. It is powered by Infineon CYW43439 Wi-Fi plus BLE chip which supports Wi-Fi 4 and Bluetooth Low Energy 5.2. In this tutorial, we will go through the Raspberry Pi Pico W board design, pinout and description and learn about features and capabilities. We will go through the blinking of LED program and regarding the Wi-Fi functionality, we will write a MicroPython code to scan the available access points. We will also learn about the method to connect the board to the Wi-Fi network and also learn how to print the IP address of the Pi Pico W board. Finally, a fully functional MicroPython code can be developed to implement the Wi-Fi Connect functionality in any IoT-based project. This tutorial is going to be very very interesting, so without getting any delay, let's get started. Do you want professional PCBs like this one that looks so good then use the services of next PCB. You can select the board size, any solder mask color that you want including something like red and green. You can select the thickness and the PCB could be from 2 up to 32 layers for some more complex design. The finish quality is so good and if you want better connectivity, you could also select some gold finish for the pads. The ordering process is so easy. Just go to nextpcb.com then quit now. Insert your design setting, upload your cover files and order now. And receive the PCB in a couple of days. Welcome back again. Let's have a brief overview of the Raspberry Pi Pico W port. Raspberry Pi Pico W offers 2.4 GHz 802.11 BG and wireless LAN support with an onboard antenna. It is able to operate in both station and access point modes. Full access to the network functionality is available to both C and MicroPython developers. The CYW43439 wireless chip is connected via SPI to the RP2040 while the CYW43439 supports both 802.11 wireless and Bluetooth. Initially, Pico W does not have Bluetooth support. Support may be added later in the future as the deployment of the Bluetooth driver is going on. The RV2040 board has a dual-core ARM Cortex-M0 Plus processor with a flexible clock running up to 133 MHz. It has a 264KV on-chip SRAM. This is a 2 MB of the flash memory chip. It has a bug boost converter chip that can supply power supporting input voltages from 1.8 to 5.5 volt. It provides 26 CPIO pins, 3 of which can function as analog inputs. The chip supports low power modes and dormant modes and also has an inbuilt temperature sensor. If you consider the difference with the Raspberry Pi Pico board, the logo has been replaced with the metallic packaging with Wi-Fi chip and the debug pin has been shifted to the middle instead of bottom. That's enough about this board. Now let's move to the practical part. We will see now how to install MicroPython firmware. On your web browser, visit raspberrypi.com and then go to the documentation part. Scroll down and click on the datasheets. Go to the page. From here, we need to download the firmware for Pico W which is in UVF2 format. UVF2 is USB flashing format, basically a bootloader file. By flashing this, it is easier to flash code in RP2040. Just click on download, so a file has been downloaded here. Push and hold the boot cell button on the Pico W and then immediately connect the Pico W board to your computer using a micro USB cable. Release boot cell once the drive RPI-RP2 appears on your computer. 
the drive has two files one is the html file and the other is the text file with the bootloader version now you have to copy the uf2 bootloader file and copy it to the removable drive you can do this by simply dragging and dropping now the drive will disappear and a com port is allocated for the device you can open the device manager to find out what com port it is allocated now let's move to the programming part using micropython for this we will be using the thony ide we need to install the latest python software and also the thony ide all right open the thony ide and go to tools and select options from this interpreter tab select the raspberry pi pico port in the port part choose the same com port and then click on ok now the thony cell window has displayed this message means pi pico w is connected and you can start programming first let's print the hello world message using the print f now let's import the sys importing micropython is similar to included in c now call the function sys.implementation it shows the hardware details now you can also import the uos which is the basic operating system then using the uos.list directory will list the directory in pico w now you can clear the python cell now let us see how we can switch on and off the onboard led of pi pico w unlike the original raspberry pi pico the onboard led on pico w is not connected to a pin on rp2040 but instead to a gpio pin on the cyw43439 wireless chip micropython has been modified accordingly first import machine then create an object called led with two parameters led and pin dot out now let us call the functions led dot on to turn on the led and the function led dot off will turn off the led you can test these functions multiple times now let's see how we can implement the led blinking mechanism using the micropython code this is the simple micropython sketch to turn on and off the led for 500 milliseconds you can get this code in our website article save this sketch to raspberry pi pico and give it a unique name like main.py or blink.py now hit the run button to run the code now the led has started blinking continuously with an on off interval of 500 milliseconds let's scan all the available network access points using the raspberry pi pico w working in station mode in the thony editor paste the following code and save it with any name like main.py now hit the run button to run the code now in the cell window you can see the surrounding access point near your pico w here are the four ssid found by the pico w it has printed the ssid name and the rssi which is the signal strength now let us see how we can connect the pico w to one of the access points or any available wi-fi network in the following code replace the ssid and the password with your ssid and password save this file to the pico w with any name now run the current script if the connection is successful true will be printed considering some poor network connections let's add some timeout judgment to the code and also print the ip address of the network to which the pico w gets connected create a new script by clicking the new button on thony ide copy and paste the following code wlan.status functions returns the current status of the wireless connection the wlan.if config functions obtains ip addresses subnet mask get voice and dns servers replace the wi-fi credentials save this with any name and then run the script the thony cell will display the ip address of the pico w
Now let's write a simple script to store the Wi-Fi credential on select file and also simply the Wi-Fi connecting mechanism. Copy the following code into a new script file on Thony. Note to change SSID and password to yours. Set the file name to secrets.py. Open another tab, copy the following code into a new script file and save it to Raspberry Pi Pico S2 connect.py. Open the third tab again and paste this to lines of code. Calling the above script in other scripts by the following will allow the Raspberry Pi Pico W to connect to the network. After running all three scripts, the Pico W will connect to the Wi Fi network. That is all today from the basic Wi Fi testing part. We will make more videos and write more articles about the IoT project using the Raspberry Pi Pico W board. And I would also like to recommend you to buy the SunFounder Pi Pico W starter kit in case you want to start your MicroPython journey. The kit contains over 450 plus items and 117 online projects for Arduino and Raspberry Pi Pico W users from beginners to advanced programmers. There are all the necessary components included like sensors, actuators, LEDs, LCD, motors, pumps, basic resistors, capacitors, transistors, batteries, etc. You can check the link in the description for purchasing.